Okay, so we're in a room addition. As you can see, a lot of it was already here. Because what we're doing and talking about today is a loft room addition, where you're actually getting room within a room. What was a big tall room is now two rooms. Mm -hmm. Splitting it in half is another way you could say it. Yep. How, it's a very, it's not an easy to do project, right? I mean, there's a lot of complicated engineering and things that we have to do. And so clients are like, is it even possible? Because they know what they want, but yeah. does anyone, can they do it? Well, you know, I don't want to show anybody the details because they might think that they can do it <laughs> and just kind of copy it. But there are very, very specific things that go into attaching a room. And in this case, multiple rooms up above mm -hmm. because your life depends on it being done right. And so, as you said, Morgan, it is engineered. Mm -hmm. And this is not just a simple, let's put some boards across. When we go up there and we test the floor, just not the real test, but just kind of for the, for the purposes of video and relating the information, you're gonna see how solid it is. Mm -hmm. And that's what you have to have. You don't know whether people are gonna put a pool table or whether they're gonna put a gym upstairs or they're gonna have a party, which is one of some of the heaviest things you can do is add a bunch of people. people. And so this room wasn't done just so they could have more space up there. It was done for many reasons. And one of those... But the most important one, really, what? right? It was the acoustics. The acoustics and the and fact the that you can't keep cool in this room. Mm -hmm. It made it miserable to be in here because you can't hear anything. And now, as you can tell, even before we've done the, the ceilings, it's already easy to talk. communicate, talk, hear each other without noises bouncing. And coming back what happens is, is is sound travels very quickly but not quick enough to go up on a big two-story ceiling come back around and by the time that you hear it mm -hmm. it's a delay and your brain picks that up it's very very disturbing and aggravating when you're listening to television or conversations or and trying to have a conversation to someone because directly in front of us is the kitchen so having a conversation is impossible yeah because you can get the close Mm -hmm. sound waves and then you're getting the delayed sound waves at the same time and it is very hard on very YouTube. frustrating but this solves it and we've got two of these projects lined up this is one and we've got another one that's that's even a little bigger than this but we just want you to know that it is possible to do it we're gonna look at some of the details in here how it's attached there's beams there going because we can't attach to the stone really well so there's a beam across over there and you can get this one uh, Sarah, right up there on that beam that goes all the way from there to there. And then you see these joists. These are called, we call them TJIs, truss joists or I joists. They're engineered joists and they're an I. They're shaped, shaped like an I, a capital I. <laughs> and of course, there's a lot of considerations here. Like you see here, ducting going in, making sure that you have new air conditioning in this area because before it was way up higher and also lighting lighting in this room and then of course the lighting of the, the room up above and then cooling the room up above too probably. right so those ducts all change um, the number one thing to be concerned about is strength and making mm -hmm. sure that it is that you're safe. safe that it is safe mm -hmm. so let's uh, one of the things they commented on was it didn't feel like a tunnel when we were going up there, even though the walls go straight up, which we can see now. This is still feeling quite open when you go in there. You don't feel like you have to duck. So that's a good design element that the client already commented on how much they appreciate that. So let's go upstairs. Wow, it's a lot bigger up here than I thought. Several rooms. <laughs> And as you can see, it's really, really solid. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you got to do. That's that is, the jump test? That is solid. That's the stress test, yeah. But, I mean, you've got several rooms in here. You've got a really solid floor. Uh, we use that one-inch flooring. Mm -hmm. And it's all sanded. The joints are all sanded down, looking beautiful. And so this could be an Airbnb right here. It can have their own private. So you can see this could be divided with a door. Right there is a door we're gonna have. So this can be the part for the homeowners. They can come up the back area here. 
and have completely a uh, separate living area. And so what we did is we put up a temporary wall here that blocks the openness, but it's really all one. It's so just all take one a peek in there, bedroom. Justin, and you can see that all of this is going to be one room. But for right now, it's still functioning as a bedroom, but it's all going to be one with a little kitchenette and so forth in the future. And so, it's going to have its own separate entrance, entrance right here, which Justin will show you to get back down and a set of stairs eventually to come to come down. So it's got so much potential. This is what people can do. They can even have separate entrances into these lofted bedrooms, lofted um, Airbnbs, if you will, or apartments for, for children coming home, parents um, moving into another part of the home. Even One of if the you don't know what you're going to do with this room and your whole reason is to func get the downstairs functioning more, it's worth it. Yeah. And you can decide what you want to do with this room later on, but you've just doubled your square footage of your living space. That's right. And, and how can that be a bad thing when you've just added more good square footage? Yes. And accomplished all those other things mm -hmm. as well. One of the neat things that was accomplished by this particular project is it captured some great views. So now yeah. the new window openings are going to capture great hill country views. Mm -hmm. oh, I just love this project. We're so excited so to see it. So before we were looking down onto a, to a loft, but now it's all, mm. all separate and much more usable.